Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use Zoom and to use it to host meetings on your desktop. Now this works for Mac and PC and it's a standalone app for those platforms. You could get it from the link in the description below this video at zoom.us. Now there's a free version of Zoom that's gonna be good for most case scenarios and there are some paid version if you're trying to do other things with it, but you could hold virtual meetings, you could go ahead and video chat, you could have conference calls, you could screen share, you could hold classrooms, town halls, you could have up to a hundred participants on the free version of Zoom and up to a thousand participants on a meeting on the paid version. I'm gonna spend most of the time on the computer here so I could show you exactly how to use Zoom and most of the essential features that Zoom brings you. So when you land on the website zoom.us, you do have to sign up and create an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that and then I'm gonna show you how to host a meeting. Once you do create an account too, you could also join meetings, but that does require you to have the app as well. So you could use Google or Facebook or sign in with your work email here. And you should get an email here to activate your account. Go ahead and do that. And then go ahead and create your account with your name and password. Now, once you create an account here, if you press the Zoom icon here on the left side, you'll come back to this page where you could actually join a meeting or host a meeting. I'm gonna focus on hosting a meeting. And again, this is after I created my account here. And I'm gonna do it with video on, but these are your three different options. You could always turn video off too if you start with video on. And these all have share your screen option. I'll press that here. And if you've never ran Zoom before, it's gonna ask you to download Zoom. Now this does not take place on the browser. This is a standalone app on your Mac or PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and download and run Zoom here. It's gonna download it as a package to my computer. Again, it's the same if you have a PC, but you'll just go ahead and install it. Very straightforward on how to do that. And now let me minimize the website so I could focus on the homepage of the Zoom app. So as you could see, I'm on the Zoom app on my Mac. It's the same on the PC. And here, there's a few options that I have. I could join a meeting. I'll show you where to get the join code in a second where I create my own. That's creating your new meeting yourself, scheduling or sharing screen. I'll go ahead and press new meeting. I'll press this icon and it's gonna launch my video on my Mac here, not the one I was recording the intro with. I'll go ahead and join with my camera, with my computer audio here. Now let me show you all the options you have right here on Zoom. So on the very bottom, I'll start from left to right. You have mute, which comes in very, very handy. So if I mute here, I'm muting myself. I'm gonna show you how to mute other participants too when you have a lot of people here, but I'm gonna go ahead and unmute myself. You also have this arrow, which is gonna show you all the different microphones that you have attached and all the speakers. So I have a different microphone here. That sounds a lot better. So if you're doing this, for example, for podcasting or for recording meetings, this might be something to invest in. So I'll put a link in the description to this mic. You could go ahead and stop the video. That's the other options. Let me press that and show you what happens. This not, does not in any way end the meeting or stop your audio. My audio is still going. So if I didn't want to show my face in the video, I could just go ahead and press that. At any time, I could bring this back. And again, this has an up arrow for different types of audio or video if you have those connected. Then you have invite. So after you set up your audio and video, you obviously want to invite people because this is a place for meetings. If I press that, I could use my contacts here or I could use email, which is very handy. You could select any of these options and send this email out to people. Or one of my favorite options is copy link and then you're gonna get a link here. Let me just go ahead and paste it to show you what that looks like. If I press paste here, command B on my Mac, this is the URL that you're gonna send someone. Again, the email takes care of that for you, but if you were manually doing it, and you'll have to share this meeting password, that's right over here. So make sure you copy this and add it to whatever text you're sending to someone, but you could use any text message platform to send this or one of these default emails here. Very straightforward if you choose those options, it's gonna basically lay out how to join that meeting exactly over here with the password and link to a meeting. After that, you have manage participants. So this is very useful if you press this and let's say you have a lot of participants, maybe a hundred participants here. You could go ahead and manage all of them individually, basically by muting them if you want or unmuting them if you want or turning off their video here. A lot of different options for each person and the more option lets you add profile pictures and so on. But what's very important here is the mute all option. So if you were presenting by yourself and you didn't want other people to interact in any way, you could press mute all, unmute all, 
and you have this other option where you could mute participants on entry so you don't hear them if they don't remember to mute themselves. So all these different options are over here. Then you have chat, which is also part of this over here on the bottom. You could go ahead and set that to everyone and everyone could basically chat on the side and share files. But if you press the three dots, you could also change it over here. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller so you could see all these options under the three dots. But you could basically have where the host only could make the chats or is publicly available and everybody could publicly chat here. So I like that option so everybody could see what other people have to say. Next to that, you have record. I can't press that right now because I'm recording my screen, but this basically records what's happening on screen here. And then when you press stop after that, it will turn it to an MP4 file. You could share that. It will just, after you end the meeting, show up on your desktop. Very straightforward there. And you have reactions. You could give people a clap or a thumbs up and it'll show up over here when other people are talking. And when you're done, you could basically press end meeting on this side. Let me show you when you press that, you get two options. You can either leave the meeting, so the meeting will continue without you, or end the meeting if you're the host. So if I press end the meeting, it's going to end it for everybody. And if I was recording it, something will pop up here that's going to show my recording on my desktop. And now if I wanted to create a new meeting or join an existing meeting, schedule a meeting, I'm back to the homepage of Zoom. So I no longer have to go to the Zoom website. I now have the Zoom app on my computer and you should too if you follow this process. So next time you want to add a meeting, you could jump back over here and schedule a meeting just on this page. And if you wanted to make it easier in the future to add people, you could come to the contacts, press the plus sign and add contacts here or create a channel here to add contacts. And it'll make it a lot easier if you're using Zoom all the time, but you don't have to do that. You could always send the invite via email or via the link I showed you. And it's that simple to use Zoom on a Mac or PC. I hope you could benefit from Zoom if you're teaching classrooms or you're holding meetings or working from home. This is a very powerful tool. If you have any questions, let me know in the description below this video, and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching this one.